Hey, I thought it would be a good idea to come and show something um, other than the electric milk frother. We do have a lot of other um, great products that came out in the spring summer uh, 2024 season. And today I thought I would show the redesigned um, whipped cream maker. So it looks very similar to the last one, but it has a couple of extra pieces and I'll show you why. So this, this part's pretty much the same. The color's a little bit different. Um, but what's different altogether about this is that it comes with something extra. So, th so the bottom comes off, whereas before it was all one piece, and we have a decorating tip now. So that goes on after you're done making the, um, the whipped cream, you take off the bottom, you put this on, and then um, I guess to uh, get rid of these little holes, there's a little extra piece here, and you just push this into it, push it in here, turn it like you always would, and you leave the, uh, there's a little vent here, you leave it open for when you're making the whipped cream, and then you close it for when you wanna push out the whipped cream, and then you just push it out through the decorating tip. So we're going to do this because I haven't tried it yet and I want to see um, how it's going to uh, work. And then um, you can also still store it. So you can still put this on. It comes with two of these. Take this off. I'm sure it's going to be a little messy when I'm showing you. So, you know, when I'm making it for the first time. So I want to show you all the pieces before I do it. And you can still store it just like this. These are hard. Um, they'll go right in your fridge. You can make your whipped cream ahead of time. So let's give this a try. Um, so in here, I'm going to put my one cup of whipped cream, whipping cream, heavy cream, close enough. Actually, I need some powdered sugar, so let me just get that out of my pantry. Hang on. And I don't usually put much in. I just put a tablespoon or two, so let me put some of that in. I read somewhere that the Powdered sugar stabilizes it. And I don't like it too sweet if it's fresh whipped cream. So I think I'm just gonna put like two tablespoons. I think I can even get away with just one, but I'll put a little extra. So let me get rid of this. And don't even have to um, mix it because I can just put this on and it will mix while it's going. Um, yeah, so I take this off because this is what I'm gonna use afterwards once I have the uh, whipped cream whipped, I'm going to put that thing on. So let me take off this little vent cap thing and start pumping. I think that's what it's for. Maybe I'm supposed to keep it closed. Let me see. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to keep it closed actually because it was starting to come out the top. So we'll just pump away for a little while and the plunger has got all those holes. So, um, the air gets in and should have whipped cream within 30 seconds or so. Yeah, I can feel it getting hard already. The funny thing is that I think the very first video I ever made for Pampered Chef products was the whipped cream maker. I remember doing it and now I've come full circle because now it's restyled. So it's time to make another video. I've been doing this long enough that it's time to make another video of the exact same product because we have a better version. So let me see if that's enough. It feels like it is, but sometimes you need a little more. It's like a workout, I will say that. Oh yeah, good, perfect. Great, whipped cream. So now the key is, let me see if I can do this. Take this off and get some of this back in here. And I think I'm gonna take a little spatula and just get, well, actually it's all off. So now from what I saw, I'm going to just put this on and it should sort of, yeah, it goes on nicely because it's, I don't know, it stretches a little bit. And then let's see, put this on, but I think I have to do this first. Hold on. I think I have to take this off, put the decorating tip on. And then put the lid on. Of course, I am getting a little bit messy. Hang on a second. Let me just rinse my hands. And 
And the other thing I wanted to show before we do that um, is we have a new, so yesterday I made these little uh, chocolate banana um, muffins out of the chocolate banana bread mix. And we have a new cake pan, which is really cool. Um, it looks just like a cake pan, um, cake stand, but you can turn it over. So you could actually have a two tier cake pan, cake stand. You can put some stuff on the top and some stuff on the bottom. And this also com comes completely apart. So you can also have these as two little, I just put this together for the first time. So you can have these you know, save this little piece here and you'll have two little, nice, whoops, two little serving, uh, you like, you can make charcuterie um, platters. You'll have two little nice wooden um, trays that you can, that you can uh, put your, put your stuff on. So anyway, what I wanted to show you, let's see how this is going to turn out now because I haven't done this before, but I thought, Give it a try. So just push it out and there. So the whipped cream looks a little bit nicer than just a blob of whipped cream with a spoon. You can use this decorating tip. You can go around in a circle if you want, make it more of like a flowery kind of thing. You can use this to decorate cake. I have to, I have to practice how to hold this a little bit better, but maybe hold it down here. Yeah, there we go. And it comes out like a nice little, you can put it on fresh fruit, maybe make a fruit salad. And instead of just throwing the whipped cream on top of it, you can do it a little more decorative with this. So anyway, the new whipped cream maker, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I always loved the old whipped cream maker. So I'm sure this with the extra feature is gonna be even better. So there you have it, the new improved redesigned whipped cream maker.